Yeah, this is just my little reaction to this whole teaser trailer for the next Mass Effect. Um, let's see, so they have Tassoni picking up Shepard's badge, but the thing is, this thing is going to try to cash in on everybody's nostalgia. They'll be like, what three endings that were in different sprinkles of colors? No, we're gonna we're probably gonna try to either retcon this through having this thing set either um adjacent to the Mass Effect trilogy or they're going to try to uh well based on what I saw the te the teaser, you know, they they were doing the whole contact thing, you know, pulling everything out to where it's like, oh, you know, like the first radio waves going out. So yeah, it <sighs> I mean, if they managed to, to to basically fix the clusterfuck that was called Mass Effect 3, uh, I, I'm gonna just sit and wait. Like, cause mm, none of the original Spark is at Bioware anyway. Um, it could end up being a worse disaster than, um, <laughs> than Andromeda. I would say honestly, people pick up Ember Warp. You'll you'll enjoy it if you're if you're Joseph for a uh, Mass Effect type adventure. Ember Warp. And sorry about that. My allergies are like the absolute worst in the morning. Oh boy, but yeah. Um. Oh. I, I honestly, I don't even know if this is actual direct continuation after Mass Effect 3 because then it's like, oh, well, how are you going to explain your endings unless you go with that indoctrination shit everybody was uh, speculating about way back when? Because, uh, believe me, I remember what was going on on their official forums way back when they had them. Um... There was a lot of people debating whether or not the last couple of hours in that game were even, um, how shall we put this, uh, truthfully done? Because it also had that little retarded part at the end with the kid saying, Oh, tell me a story of the shepherd! It, it, it's like, <laughs> okay, maybe they gave themselves a rewrite card right there. Or a relaunch card, because that seems to be like what most media stuff is doing right now. Oh, here's the infinite level of reboots. I wouldn't even be re be um, surprised if they reboot Mass Effect. Uh, but that's just my two cents about things. Um, Christ. But yeah, they are going to try to cash in on your nostalgia bucks. Um... Hell, uh, for everybody who's playing even Cyberpunk right now, um, the, I didn't actually spend my money on it. I got it because it's a Christmas gift. Now, is it a lot of fun? Yeah, for me, because I didn't have much expectations going into it. Especially since I got it as a gift, I'm like, I didn't even have to spend my own money on it. Um... But even with all its glitches and everything else, which, yeah, there are some mission glitches I've encountered so far. Not not to where they break the game, but, like, certain stuff won't update properly and everything else. And, like, especially the vending machine quests that are near that other um, major building with the Clouds Club in it. There's, like, this little vending machine quest that's next to it with a, a sapient AI uh, <laughs> vending machine. So far, I've, I've experienced three little side quests with it. Um, but yeah, like, th in this day and age, well, uh, we either hype stuff up way too much, or we create such a, like, um, a furor over everything that most of these corporations, they don't mind getting attention whether it's good, bad, or indifferent as long as they're getting some attention. That's the reason why you'll see me pretty much ignoring Marvel and DC because everybody else is talking about their train wrecks. Uh, so there you go. But to get back to the Mass Effect thing, yeah, that was obviously Liara picking up Shepard's stuff. But again, like if they set that after the third one, then they gotta make some sort of ending canon, or they could make it... 
The only other way I could see them negating Mass Effect 3's ending is if if it was like a data file corruption and the, the, the stupid future grandpa was basically reading off of something that got corrupted over the years or, or some shit. Or he could have been accidentally even watching like a, a what if disaster movie scenario of that time period. I mean, the, it's just, uh, I have so little faith in, in most stuff in terms of uh, media just wanting to entertain that when Cyberpunk has a genuinely likable character like Jackie, it comes as an utter shock. Because I thought most of the entertainment industry forgot how to do that. So, uh, yeah, just, just uh, wait and see and... Watch out for them cashing in on your nostalgia factor, because that is what all these corporations will do nowadays, because they will warp IPs to fit their own needs. That's just how I see it. How about you guys?